IET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics page 70 5 market equilibrium module 5.1 determination of market equilibrium rationale in market equilibrium we combine consumers and firms behavior through demand and supply analysis at the equilibrium price there is no shortage or surplus of product in the market key concepts market equilibrium excess demand excess supply 5.1.1 market equilibrium in a competitive market if the quantity demanded of a good at the existing price is more than the quantity supplied at that price that is there is an excess demand or ed then the market price of the good must increase on the other hand if the quantity demanded at the existing price is less than the quantity supplied at that price that is there is an excess supply or es then the market price of the good must decrease market price of the good will remain unchanged only if the quantity demanded exactly equals the quantity supplied equilibrium of a competitive market refers to a situation in which the quantity demanded by all the consumers at the existing market price is equal to the quantity supplied by all the producers at that same price under such a situation the market price has no tendency to change such a market price is known as equilibrium price and is denoted as small p subscript 0 the quantity bought as well as sold at such a price is known as the equilibrium quantity and is denoted as small q subscript 0 therefore a price and quantity combination in an equilibrium condition that is p0 comma q0 can be expressed as q raised to the power capital d p subscript 0 within brackets is equal to q raised to the power capital s p subscript 0 within brackets is equal to q subscript 0 where q raised to the power capital d is the quantity demanded and q raised to the power capital s is the quantity supplied we may also say that under equilibrium there is neither excess demand nor excess supply 5.1.2 determination of market equilibrium let us understand it through a specific example suppose the market demand curve of a good is given by the equation q raised to the power capital d equals 200 minus p and its market supply curve is given by q raised to the power capital s equals minus 80 plus p figure 5.1 gives the graph of these two curves page 71 figure 5.1 market equilibrium we have before us a graph on which the x axis represents quantity and the y axis represents price there is a downward sloping curve which represents the equation q raised to the power capital d equals 200 minus p the point of origin for this is the y axis similarly there is an upward sloping curve whose point of origin is also the y axis this is a thicker line and this represents the equation q raised to the power capital s equals minus 80 plus p please pay attention the point P2 equals 100 on the y axis has a dotted line which ends on the line q raised to the power d similarly point p equals 140 on the y axis has a dotted line which ends at the point of intersection of the lines q raised to the power capital d and q raised to the power 
capital S. There is a dotted line which extends from the point P1 equals 180 on y axis and ends on the line Q raised to the power capital S. Please note the excess supply is the section between Q raised to the power D and Q raised to the power S represented by the dotted line which began at P1. Excess demand on the other hand represents the gap between Q raised to the power S and Q raised to the power D through the dotted line P2 equals 100 on the y axis. Here you must note that quantity equals 60 and this can be determined when a perpendicular line is drawn from the point of intersection of the two lines where P is equal to 140 on the y axis and Q ends on 60. Let us first solve for equilibrium algebraically by equating the quantity demanded to the quantity supplied and thus solving for the price where these two quantities become equal. Q raised to the power capital D within brackets P subscript 0 equals Q raised to the power capital S within brackets subscript 0. This translates to 200 minus P subscript 0 equals minus 80 plus P subscript 0 which equals 200 plus 80 equals P subscript 0 plus P subscript 0. We have balanced the equation and therefore we get P subscript 0 as a total of 140. Substituting P equal to 140 in equation of either the demand curve or the supply curve we get Q subscript 0 equals 60. Note that the quantity demanded must equal the quantity supplied at P equals 140. Is the quantity demanded equal to the quantity supplied at some price other than the equilibrium price? For example, at P equals 180 or at P equals 100? Let us check it by placing the value of price in the equilibrium equation. At P equals 180, Q raised to the power of D within brackets P equals 180 close brackets is equal to 200 minus 180 which is equal to 20. Q raised to the power capital S within brackets P equals 180 is equal to minus 80 plus 180 which is equal to 100. Page 72 Therefore, at P equals 180, the quantity demanded is 20 units and the quantity supplied is 100 units. Thus, as also evident in figure 5.1, there is an excess supply of 80 units of the good when the price is taken as rupees 180. At P equals 100, Q raised to the power capital D, where within brackets P equals 100 becomes 200 minus 100 equals 100. When Q is raised to the power capital S and P is within brackets equal to 100, this becomes minus 80 plus 100 equals 20. Therefore, at P equal to 100, the quantity demanded is 100 units and the quantity supplied is 20 units. Thus, figure 5.1 depicts that there is an excess demand of 80 units of the good. Generally speaking, 1. At any price above the equilibrium price, there will be an excess supply of a good. 2. At any price below the equilibrium price, there will be an excess demand of a good. Test your understanding. Suppose the demand and supply curve of commodity X in a perfectly competitive market are given by Q raised to the power capital D is equal to 700 minus small p. Q raised to the power capital S is equal to 500 plus 3p. Assume that the market consists of identical products. What will be the equilibrium price for this commodity? You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator, Dr. Jaya Singh. Production Assistant, 
जगबंधु जाना साउंड रिकॉर्डिस्ट बटीलांग लिंडो एंड विकास सांगवान आर्टिस्ट्स आनंदना कपूर एंड आकाश अहूजा प्रोड्यूस बाय विमलेश चौधरी एंड प्रेजेंटेड बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया